Hi, Tommy Hayfield here. On New Year's Eve, should old acquaintances be forgot? No, don't forget your old acquaintances. That's what that line means from Old Dying Sign. Don't forget your old friends. I'm here with the week 17, the final week of the regular season, NFL regular season, with my picks for all 16 games to be played on New Year's Day. Here they are, quickly. Here are the winners. Um, if you don't want to watch the rest of this video, here are the winners I pick. I pick Miami, New England, Baltimore, Pittsburgh, San Francisco, New Orleans, Atlanta, Chicago, Houston, Indianapolis, Dallas, Philadelphia, Detroit, that's why I said Detroit, Kansas City, Oakland, and Seattle. Um, I'll give you a, a brief rundown of these. It's not extensive. I, I'll give you a, a little uh, feel for what I think about the game. The Jets go to Miami, a divisional game. The, the uh, Dolphins are favored by two and a half. I pick Miami to win and the uh, Jets to cover. Close game. Um, Buffalo versus New England. I pick New England to cover this 11 point point spread. New England minus 11. Baltimore versus Cincinnati. Um, Cincinnati really would like to win this game to take away all the drama about whether they're going to make the playoffs or not. Um, Baltimore is undefeated in this divisional game. Um, Baltimore is a stronger team. Uh, this this was a tough game for me to pick. I picked Baltimore, however, and Baltimore minus two and a half to cover on the road in Cincinnati. Pittsburgh versus Cleveland. Pittsburgh is a six and a half point favorite. I picked Pittsburgh to win and to cover on the road versus Cleveland. San Francisco versus St. Louis. St. Louis is horrible, as everyone knows. San Francisco is dominant, the best defense in the league, best defense perhaps in years. Um, San Francisco is favored by 10.5. I picked I picked them to win and to cover the 10.5 points. Carolina versus New Orleans. Uh, New Orleans is favored by 8.5. Um, some people uh, said it was as high as 9.5. I'll say 8.5. Um, I picked Carolina to cover the 8.5, so I picked Carolina to lose, but Carolina to cover the 8.5 points. Tampa Bay versus Atlanta. I pick Atlanta to win and to cover the 10.5 point point spread. Chicago versus Minnesota. This is a, a story of two teams who are really injury plagued. Adrian Peterson is, will be missing the game. Um, Chicago, as you know, is uh, has Caleb Haney at quarterback and uh, I believe Minnesota will have Joe um, Joe Webb. They say Joe Cap used to be the quarterback a long time ago. I pick Minnesota um, minus one and a half to. I'm sorry. I pick Chicago plus one to win the game and to cover. Chicago plus one to cover. Tennessee Tennessee versus Houston. Houston crushed Tennessee earlier this season. In Tennessee, in Nashville, I picked Tennessee to uh, to uh, again lose, and uh, I picked Houston minus three to cover. Indianapolis versus Jacksonville, I picked uh, I picked Indianapolis to win this game and to cover. Indianapolis plus three and a half to cover. Dallas versus the New York Giants. Giants are a three-point favorite on the on, at home. I picked I picked Dallas to win this game. I picked Dallas plus three to cover because they're going to win, of course. Washington versus Philadelphia. Philadelphia um, dominated the last time they played. I picked Philadelphia to win this game at home, and Philadelphia minus eight and a half to cover. It's really unpredictable though, based on the health health status of Michael Vick. Um, Detroit versus Green Bay. Here's my lion. Nice lion. Here's my lion. Just to show you, I'm a real Packers fan. Here I am. Here's here's me. I'm a Packer fan. There's that lion, and that's a lovable lion. And uh, I picked the lovable loser 
Lions to win this game, even though um, I'm not a Lions fan. I'm a Packers fan, see? Packers fan, see? Um, and isn't that a nice lion? Uh, uh, I wish the Packers had, had a, a nice mascot like that. But, you know, they're still pretty good. Um, anyway, I pick Detroit to win this game and Detroit plus three to cover. Kansas City. Kansas City is playing Denver. Denver is a three and a half point favorite. I pick Kansas City with Romeo Cornell, the new coach, to surprise Denver. Uh, sometimes teams play for, for coaches, and this is a case of it. And uh, um, they love him over there in, in Kansas City, and uh, they, they want him to stay, so they're going to help him win, I believe. <coughs> so, anyway. Anyway, I pick Kansas City plus three and a half to win and to cover on the road in Denver. San Diego versus Oakland. Oakland um, is also eight and seven, as is Denver. Um, whoever wins this game has a um, goes to a tiebreaker to uh, to determine the winner of the um, division. I'm not sure what the tiebreaker says, but both these teams will be trying to win by as much as possible since these are both divisional opponents. Oakland is a three-point favorite at home. I pick Oakland to win, and Oakland minus three to cover. This is really a hard game to pick, though, of course. And finally, Seattle versus Arizona. Arizona is a three-point favorite. These teams are this, these teams are very hard to pick. They're, they're both uh, low-scoring teams. They uh, um, Seattle has a very... Uh, strong defense. Uh, Arizona not so much, but Arizona manages to win at home. They have that great, great return game, and uh, so we'll see. I guess that's why they, why they play the game. They don't do it on paper, of course. Um, that's not the last game of the of the, of the day. The, the the Sunday night game, as I uh, I already covered it here, is um, Detroit is uh, Dallas versus New York Giants. That's a Sunday night game. That will be to determine the NFC East. So check it out tomorrow. There's a lot on the line. These are all divisional games tomorrow, as far as I as far as I know. Uh, they usually are the last game of the season. So there's a lot of rivalry games. So check them out. And uh, you know, I don't really want the Lions to win. I'm a Packers fan. See. And uh, but anyway, uh, if the bear, if the Lions win, I'll look I'll look pretty better than uh, because I'm picking I'm. Try not to look stupid, of course, when I'm picking these games. I don't, I don't really uh, want the Lions to win, but uh, go Lions.